what if I tell you that you can generate high quality images for free without any limitation and even a restriction, without hours of suffering with code with just pressing one button. In this video, I'll tell you about the AI under the radar, which can bring you any idea or fantasy to life. Don't waste time and let's begin. The mention tool is Focus, it's open source software, whose main purpose is substitute mid-journey and even extend his capabilities. So what about functions? Of course it can generate high quality images, but without any restrictions. Use image as a part of your prompt for inspiration and combination between images and styles. It can upscale your images or even outpaid like paid Photoshop, but absolutely free. To run Focus, just open the link below under this video. It's a virtual machine with powerful GPU, which Google gives you for free. But you don't need to know about coding, just run this cell. Then just wait and follow the link below, which will look like this. Now we are in a Focus user interface. It works quite simple. Just type your prompt here. For example, let it be a cat and press generate. After one minute of waiting, we've got our images. Just look at this. That looks stunning. If you want to have more control, press advanced button here. And now we have more settings. First of all, we can choose performance, speed, quality, or maybe if you don't have too much time, extreme speed. There are also aspect ratios, image number, negative prompt if needed, and random. Here you can specify your seed. The seed is important for reproducibility. For example, if you want to create an image and add minor changes, fix your prompt, let it be 69, and generate your image. And now we can create minor changes with our cat, for example, a cat with a hat. Let's add this one. And we just added head to our cat, which we generated before. But there are also different ways to do that. It's very useful to know this method. Then you can specify your style. And there are a lot of different styles. You can experiment with them, but don't forget to turn off these key chosen styles. So you can also specify style right here in our prompt section. For example, a cat with a hat in pixel art style. Here we go, we've got our cat with a hat and that looks very nice. Models and advanced tab are for more advanced users. And the most interesting here is Laura, which allows you to add any custom style you want and of course, which you can find on specialized website like CVTI. You can add up to 5 Lauras and combine them freely experimenting with different parameters of weight and models. There are also advanced tab with ability to change sampling sharpness and guidance scale. If you don't know what does that mean, you can just press here and read documentation. But please note that this parameter doesn't work if you use performance with extreme speed. By tuning this parameter, you can achieve exactly this mid-journey style with high sharpness and something like a HDR effect. Here you can see how sharpness affects on your generated image. That already looks quite impressive and with this help you can generate high quality images, but of course it's not all. Let's hide advanced tab and click here to input image, it's the place of real magic. Here you can create different variation of your image, not only generated, but any image you like. There are also different upscalers, which can enhance your image dramatically. Not like a basic upscaler in a Photoshop, but like an AI upscaler, which will add more texture and more information to your image. Let's try upscale this image. To do this, just drop image here or click upload. To my experience, drop an image doesn't work for some reason. But that is not a serious problem, because you always can just click and upload your image manually. Let's take this image. That image has extremely bad quality, with extremely low resolution, 128 by 128. So let's try to upscale it by 2x. Here is the result which I've got with this image, with this particular case, and I was able to improve this image dramatically, and I even outpaint this image, and how to do that I'll show you a little bit later. But now let's have a look on another parameter, created variation of image. That works pretty similar, just press here and choose your variation parameter, subtle or strong. Let's try strong variation. Here we go, we've got our result, which have been inspired by previous images. As you can see, it looks 
quite similar. You can create subtle variation and experiment with that without much troubles. Here we go, we just created a subtle variation of our image and that looks stunning. Just look at this, how similar it is, but at the same time quite different. Feel free to experiment with that. Of course, options with variation looks very interesting. In this case, the image mostly used for inspiration, but for that specific reason, there are another instrument, image prompt. Here the next tab, image prompt. In this particular case, you can combine different images with different styles for creating experiments. You can read documentation for more detailed information. But if you used Midjourney before, you know how it works. There are a lot of abilities for experimenting with image prompting. For example, in this particular case, used only one images and text prompt. Using this image, you generated quite similar image but without a dog but with a cat. You can also combine different images without a text prompt and create different results. Unfortunately, focus experience problem with particular that functions. But sometimes there are some errors, but in majority of cases it works for me. And I think that all that problem will be solved in near future. And last but not least, it's in painting and out painting. It works also quite similar. Drop your image here. For example, let's outpaint this image. Unfortunately, you can only choose direction of outpainting and it's not so convenient as it works in a Photoshop. At the same time, it's free and the results also quite good and interface quite usable. So let's try outpaint this image from bottom to top. After three minutes of waiting, we've got our results. And as you can see here, it looks stunning. As a user of Photoshop with generative features, I can say that it looks much more better because in this case, we've got really nice results in both cases, because in majority of cases using Photoshop, for me it works only one time in five generation. But here you've got perfect result already in third generation. We can unpaint this image once again. In order to do that, we need to save this image and let's send it here in outpainting once again. But in this case, we outpaint only bottom of the image. Here we go. Unsurprisingly, the results are very, very nice. And let me show you how in painting works, because it's also an extremely cool feature for focus, with the help of which you can generate different variation of your image. For example, let's presume that I don't like her hair and I wanna change it. Just let me create mask. You can adjust size of brush here. But let's try this one. And then just press generate. I actually forgot to turn off out painting, but I think that's even better. As you can see, we just changed shape of your head and hair just a little bit. And still we've got very solid results. Here, celebration, and you can choose whatever you like. That's a very solid instrument, and I'm so glad that it's open source and available for free for you. I'm sure that there'll be much more features, and there are already a lot of features, but I'm sure that there will be much more. As for call-up notebook, after each running of notebook, you have to download SDXL models and all needed components. But I created a notebook which can save your time because you download all that needed files for your Google Drive account and that will help you to save a lot of time and run focus almost instantly, which is extremely convenient. And I also add feature to download custom Laura models and base models. That notebook will be available on my Patreon page. There are also a lot of different notebooks with stable diffusion, with different instruments, AI instruments, which allows you unleash your creative potential. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.